What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. You're probably wondering why am I in this garage right now? Well, uh, if some of you have been watching closely, you may have noticed that I have had some more mishaps with my van. Um, yes, in fact, my air conditioner on the back that I mounted, I managed to destroy it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it was a game of trial and error. And when it was getting really hot, my AC was coming on more often. I thought that was a sign of it having issues. So I put more air conditioner refrigerant into it. And apparently that wasn't the problem. Uh, apparently by putting the extra load of refrigerant into my AC, unfortunately it destroyed my AC. So. <laughs> I'm waiting to get that all sorted out and I've been staying at my friend Louis in the meantime. So today we are doing a product review and I'm kind of excited about this one. It is another battery and it's from Dr. Prepare. Um, here's the manual here. We've got some terminal bolts here. And the thing that got me excited about this, this is a 100 amp hour battery. 12.8 volts uh, lithium. Now, the thing that was really cool about this, it only weighs 22 pounds, and it's supposed to be like half the size of a regular lithium battery. So, really, really cool. Um, excited about that, guys. So, let's pull it out and see what it looks like. a little bit there. All right, well, straight away I can tell it's way smaller than most 100 amp hour batteries that I've seen. It's, I wanna say like half the size of most lithium batteries, uh, 100 amp hour batteries that I've seen. It's kind of crazy, it's a really small battery. Still a little heavy, but uh, 22 pounds ain't that bad. Look at the size of it though. Uh, I think it does have, yeah, charge voltage 14.6, uh, rating 12.8 voltage. Everything seems like a regular lithium battery. Uh, there's the labeling on it. Very cool guys. All right. So let's read. I think it's got the measurements on here. Yeah, so it's 10 inches by seven inches by five inches. So I think it's like seven inches tall, five inches wide by 10 inches long. That's pretty, that's pretty tidy. That's a pretty tight chip right there. Uh, I like that. What else we got here? It's got all your cycles, discharge curve, um, solar input, uh, cable size as well for what you want to do with it. That's pretty cool. Um, how to charge, how to store. I'd imagine it has the ratings for if you want to put in series or parallel. But one of the things I really like about the idea of this battery, guys, is um, that if you want to put these in series or parallel, mind the uh, sweat, it's it's a hot day here in Phoenix, um, is they don't take up a lot of space. So you can save a ton of space by getting these smaller ones. Now, I don't think it's the core itself that's smaller, it's the packaging. It's everything shrunken down a bit more tighter. Um, so yeah, it's uh, just getting rid of all that waste uh, shell that they have on these things. So it's pretty good. Um, I specifically actually have a different idea for this battery and it's because of the size of it why I had the idea for this. I want to make a solar generator, a small solar generator that can pop up a like a singular flexi solar panel, uh, one of the ones I've done reviews on, and wire this up to um, some 12 volts and USB ports and um, even a 110 volt, maybe a thousand watt uh, inverter, have it as a little board um, 
and have it maybe on a little wheeled cart or something that can take it out to uh, gatherings or meetings. Anybody that doesn't have electricity or running low on electricity, they can use this, which will be built as a solar generator and they can uh, charge all their devices on it or run their devices, whatever it may be. Me and my friends or at other meetups, people that don't have the opportunity or electricity that I do, um, be very handy for that option. Plus in emergency situations, I can bring it to work. We got emergency power on the go. We could plug this into laptops, uh, internet devices. We could have uh, emergency operation base on the go, all from this one battery right here, guys which is super, super exciting to me. Also, if you guys are interested, uh, Dr. Prepare is actually doing a nice little healthy um, discount on this. I have a link or a, uh, a code for a discount below in the description. If you go check that out, I think it's 22% off if you order through, uh, through the link and code that I provide in the description, which is amazing. That's quite a decent sized discount, guys. But real quick, we're gonna take this battery on around to the back and we're gonna compare this to the size of mine. The other ones I have are like a, a 280 watt uh, and a 300, uh, sorry, 280 amp hour and a 300 amp hour. I do have some uh, another 100 amp hour battery that I have. I forgot to bring it to compare the size. But I can tell just from looking at this this is like half the size of the other one that I have. Uh, so yeah, but we'll, we'll show you. And I will also show you something else I do with these 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, when using the air conditioner, I actually alligator clip on one of these 100 amp hour batteries fully charged, just to give me a boost of electricity overnight, jumping me from 580 amp hours up to 680 amp hours, uh, which is quite a lot of power which sometimes in the heat of Phoenix with the AC I run, it needs that power because it gets ridiculously hot. I've been in 113 degree nights out in this desert here with the AC running all night, over 12 hours of run time. You're looking at using a lot of electricity in that time, especially in that kind of heat where my van turns into an oven. All right, let's go around the back and check it out. All right, so we have the 100 amp hour battery right here, as you can see. There is a 200 amp, a 280 amp hour battery right there. Look how gigantic that battery is. And then look at this little one right here. It takes barely any space up at all. Yes, it is almost three times less the uh, power, but look at the size it, you could fit four of these batteries in place of this maybe even five that's how big that battery is that's crazy guys so yeah they are quite a compact battery uh very impressed with that and the other one i usually slot the other 100 amp hour back here and it takes this all the way to the rim here and all the way over to here, it usually takes up. So that's just how much smaller it is. You can tell by looking at that. Very cool, guys. Very cool. This will definitely be cool little project for me. I'm going to hook up uh, some fusing, some wiring, and an inverter, charge controller, and solar all to this little battery in the future. I'm going to bring it back, show you guys what I've done with it. Um, and this will be a solar generator when I'm done with it. Very cool. Alrighty guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that link and the uh, code for the discount in the link uh, in the description below. You can go check this out if you'd like to. Um, I'm definitely a fan. Man, this can't, these batteries are getting crazy. Uh, you know, the other one I did had the Bluetooth. This one is like half the size of other ones. Uh, I'm really, really cool. Like the um, name of the brand suggests, Dr. Prepper. I could imagine these batteries doing doing great stuff with like off-grid solar, off-grid prepping, backup batteries for emergency, solar um, generators, just like I plan on using this. Super, super cool. Uh, like I've said before, I'm not really a prepper, but I am into being prepared for emergencies. Um, the whole thing, you know, storing food. If something happens, 
you gotta pack up, go. I gotta get in my van, take off to the woods. I've got power, I've got food, I've got dry store, I've got protection, everything's ready. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Dr. Prepare, for sending this battery out. Again, guys, link in the description, go check it out. As I prepare to go up to Montana on my trip, uh, tomorrow I leave for my trip, actually. So uh, I'll be taking this battery with me and testing it out on the road and uh, hooking it up as a backup supply. I'm gonna have this fully charged, ready to go as a backup power supply to hook up onto my battery bank. All right, guys, hopefully you like this video and comment below uh, what kind of power options you use in your van. What kind of emergency stuff do you have? Do you have a power station? Do you have a solar generator? Do you have a generator, a gas? What, what is it you guys run? Especially in uh, as far as being prepared for emergencies, what are your backup plans? Let me know below. All right, guys, until next time, this is Aussie Van Man as I sweat here in this uh, Phoenix garage in the desert, <laughs> dreaming of uh, cooler times as I leave tomorrow to head to much cooler weather. They actually had um, snow in Montana yesterday. It's wild. I know, we're in summer. But yeah, until next time, guys, this is Aussie Van Man, and we shall see you later. What's going on here?